All right. Welcome back, fellow house flippers. Today we have something interesting that we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting a new starter office for ourselves. Now, I think it was in the stream when we had it uh, last week, we talked about doing a room that was full of like electronics and foosball and stuff like that and just making it a real like kind of like a gamer's lounge so that's what we're gonna be doing today did like five seconds of research and found this one here the hacker loft i think this one could be perfect for what we want to do here so we're gonna buy this house uh, it's got an upstairs, which is nice. We haven't had one with an upstairs yet. Um, so yeah, we'll buy it and we'll see what we can do with it. I think this is cool having like pinball machines and stuff like that. So I want to do something like that as well. Um, could even be a bit cyberpunky. Uh, so this is where we start out, huh? Oh. There's no outside on this one. Oh. Okay, so we've got a little hallway. And then we've got our main area here with a bathroom. And just an upstairs loft. So there's really not much going on here, is there? Hmm. Interesting. What is this? Oh, a newspaper. That's cool. Uh, some leftover pizza. <laughs> um, certainly interesting, and I think we can make this work. I definitely do. This can be like a little welcome area, but maybe like a little desk here, like to welcome people as they come in. Yeah, I think this could work. Oh, that's cool. I like these. That's nifty. Alright, so let's get started clearing everything up and we'll get right back. Welcome back. Been busy. Cleaned up everything. No peeking. <laughs> cleaned up everything in here. Cleaned up the walls. Cleaned up all the dirt and everything. Made it look all good. And I gotta say, this is actually looking pretty sharp. I really like um, the aesthetics of this. The light switch is just so cool. Oh, everything about it. I love it. And then we go out here. Everything's cleaned up. I didn't sell this because, I mean, that's like the perfect fridge for in here. I don't remember seeing this anywhere in there, so I figured why not keep it. Um, something goes there. Sink, maybe. But these lights, I'm really thinking that these lights are going to work well in here, so I didn't even remove them. But this view... Can we talk about this view? This is so cool. It's a shame that this is the only house that I've found that has a view like this, because this is just amazing. Oh, so beautiful. I uh, left this here on the wall, just because it looks really good there, and it kind of fits with what I'm thinking of for this. Uh, we can make this into a little kind of uh, like a bedroom up here. I saw this thing here that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know why that's actually not coming on. Because it was coming on before. Oops, that's gone now. Uh, maybe it's got to be on a desk or something, I don't know. But I saw this fan too, thought that was super cool. And these mirrors with like the, the HUD, the heads up display on them. I think that looks really cool as well, so I figured we leave that one. And same thing in the bathroom. We left this one here because I mean, the, again, it just it fits in so perfectly. So that's where we are right now. Uh, I think first what we're going to do is we're going to start with the bedroom up here. So for the bedroom here, first thing we're going to need is a bed. I think this one looks pretty cool um, for like 
cyberpunky kind of thing. Um, what else do we got? Anything that really stands out? This is kind of nice because it has the headboard on it. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to go with that first one. I think it fits really nice. It's even got the neon on the side and definitely going to go with that one. So, put that right here. We can move it later if we need, because I want to get a little bedside table in here as well. Uh, for a bedroom, bedside cabinet, and nothing really cyberpunky. I mean, this kind of has a cool design to it. with a, like a white just to kind of offset the bed here that looks good now we need a clock so we'll go with this one here and there we go and Yeah, can we move this over any more towards the wall? We can. So put this back a little bit. And we might even be able to fit another one in over here. So we'll get this in white again. Nice. So that worked out perfect. We'll get one of these guys here. Black again. And... See if we can get anything here for... Hmm... Let's go down near the bottom for this. Just a little, uh... Pictures we can get like these. Um, we'll get two of these. One for this side, and one for this side. There we go. That doesn't quite look centered. Yeah, that's okay. You can stick them in this way. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that's kind of going to be it for the bedroom. I mean, there's not too much we need. Uh, we'll probably put like a big dresser or something here. Uh, furniture for bedroom, wardrobe. And nothing really cyberpunky again. So why don't we get something like this here? Uh, handles. Right, just to kind of match. with the rest of it here. And I think that kind of works. This stuff we're going to have to all bring downstairs. Let's do that for now. And I want to get a second one of these. Let's kind of put this over here. You, know, you wouldn't want it directly on you, so let's do it like right there. Perfect. And now we can get another one of these. And we'll actually stick this right up against the wall. And move this one over a little bit more as well. There. I really like the white accent piece on top. It looks pretty smooth. And move this over a little bit more. Now you're trying to sleep, it's really hot in here. You've got fan to kind of help circulate the air a bit. Cool. 
Um, I'm kind of thinking that this is it for up here. Might make some changes, might add another light or something or a rug, I don't know. But for right now, I think this is looking pretty good. So I guess the next step would be to tackle the bathroom. And we'll get uh, started on that in just a second. All right, time to see how the bathroom went. Three, two, one, go. It's different. It's definitely different, but I like it. Um, I wanted either a bright orange or green floor tile, but I tried the green that didn't really work. Orange isn't exactly the color I'm looking for. It looks like a McDonald's flooring. <laughs> But it's the closest we can get uh, for this anyways. Uh, and then we went with green and orange. With the Denton shower. I like it because it has lights on the inside, which is pretty cool. We went with the reflector lamps, just to kind of get uh, lighting that isn't just 100% uniform. And I think it works pretty well in the space we have. Little shelf with some toilet paper here. Uh, toilets and holder. Kept the fan in that was there already. I mean, you do a heavy duty number two and, you know, it stinks a little bit. <laughs> uh, kind of just kept it, you know, pretty simple on this wall here. Just basic uh, good vibes light here. That's just a touch of light, nothing too much. And just this here, just to add some more color. This is the only thing I'm not really 100% sold on. Um, with the sink, we kind of did green and blue, or, uh, well, <laughs> blue and orange. I was looking at the trash bin here, um, just to kind of give it some more of that orange color in here. Unfortunately, there was no green that really matched the walls, so this is kind of the best we could do. Put a book here called Cyber Drifter. I figured it fit perfectly for the washroom. Our little light up green mirror here with our soap, and that's kind of the bathroom done. So next thing we're going to tackle is probably the kitchen. And I've got a couple ideas. I don't know if I'm going to make the kitchen go to about here or so. Uh, and then just kind of put a little table here so that we can enjoy this beautiful, beautiful view. Or I don't know if I'm going to put the kitchen all the way through or put like a little living room here. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do yet. So we're going to get that done and then we'll be right back. We are back with another update. I've done a couple things. I've made Harry Potter's little area under the stairs here. Um, I just, I couldn't, you know, bring myself to throw this stuff out. So I just figured this is a perfect little space. So, boom. <laughs> uh, I did do the kitchen as well with the little uh, dining area here. So in the kitchen, we went with some colors we wouldn't normally go with. Um, like, you wouldn't normally see a lot of purple... Uh, for the floors in the kitchen, but here we are. So we've gone with a lot of pink and purple in this kitchen here. Uh, a few little things up on top with some hanging shelves and a nice big poster just to fill the wall. Unfortunately, it is a little bit dark here because when you put a light up on here on the second floor, it doesn't activate until you go up on the second floor. So it kind of sucks that way. I think I might actually adjust this a little bit. That's a little better. I can always adjust it later. I'll probably put it a little bit more so it's in the middle of this. Because uh, I did just move this over. Um, put a little light here just for some little light. Because, again, without it, like, it's pretty dark in here. So, just kind of threw that in there for now. A uh, little dining area with a uh, candlestick here. That way when we were sitting here, you know, enjoying your lunch or breakfast or dinner or whatever you're having you can look outside and you still get a nice little candle for uh, when you're using your table next we're going to use uh, work on this room here and i have some idea of what's going to go in here obviously you don't so we will catch you when we come back update time i've done a fair amount of work since the last update I made the whole floor the purple one that matches the kitchen and the walls I made gray and purple and that kind of goes throughout the whole different place uh, even down here in uh, the little Harry Potter room 
I really wish I could put those um, the half walls, these things, but it just isn't letting me do it, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Uh, I can actually move this door a little bit. Maybe that'll allow me to do it. Uh, let me just check real quick here. Green. And... So maybe now it'll let me do it. No, it still doesn't. Oh, well. No big deal. Um, didn't want to do much down here. I did the upstairs in the same color scheme as well. I really, really like it myself. I know it obviously wouldn't be right for everybody, but I love it. Um, why can I not get down? There we go. <laughs> I did move the table a little bit just so there's a little bit more room getting to the stairs here. And I threw this on the wall. It was a really nice clock and it, I felt it just really fit with the design we were going for. And now for the next room that I did, I made a little sauna. Got some little benches going around with your uh, heater there with a little bucket. Uh, this is your temperature gauge. This is uh, another gauge. I can't remember what it monitors. I think it's like CO2 and something else. Uh, put a little couple vents in here because obviously if it gets really hot and steamy and stuff, you need somewhere for all the gases to go and just a little cyberpunk clock on the wall. So that is where we are for right now. And sell this, I don't even know why that's there. I guess the last thing we have is our little entranceway here. I had initially said at the beginning of the video that I was thinking of using this as our new base. I'm not sure yet. Um, I was really hoping to have more like computer rooms and other things and this is just quite frankly too small of a space to do that in so I really don't think we're going to be keeping this but I still have till the end of the episode to decide so we'll see for sure when that comes. Uh, for now we'll just get into starting this room and we'll be back when it's done. Time to see our final result. Um, I didn't really change anything up here. Might have painted it since last time, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, just a very simple setup. Nothing has really changed up here unless I did the painting, in which case a lot has changed. And I added this here because I figured there's going to be nowhere else we're going to be able to use that. And obviously this looks pretty futuristic, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's basically like a giant globe of earth. And if I haven't shown it off, I've basically just done gray with basically a purple all the way through here. Uh, gray obviously being like the accent color with purple being the, the more uh, majority of the color. Big open space here. Didn't really know what else to really do, so kind of just left it the way it is. Nothing has changed under here. Harry Potter's a little covered still. Bathroom. Still looks the same, very bright colors. Um, <laughs> very bright on the eyes after not being in here for a little while. But I really like how it turned out. Uh, it's a lot easier to do a smaller room like this in cyberpunky colors than it is out here. So it is what it is. Threw in a little light here just because it was really dark here without it. Uh, sauna, nothing has changed here exactly the way it was. I did throw up these lights uh, throughout wherever the doors are and up here on the wall as well and down here for uh, for eating just to kind of brighten it up because it is very dark in here and it's very hard to get it to be uh, any sort of light. Now the last room we switched it so we put gray as the majority and purple as the accent color and I figure this guy's paranoid. So I did kind of do what I was going to do, you know, kind of keep this like a little office. So he's got his little security here. You can see the whole building with this. You can see the parking lot, whatever. Use your imagination. 
put some storage here just because. And this is kind of command central here. So you've got your other two monitors. You can do whatever you want. Um, I like to think it's more, you know, security. Um, this guy's like a private investigator, maybe. So, you know, this kind of watches the whole building and you can use this to kind of watch wherever everybody else is using imagination a bit. Uh, use this keyboard here just because it has the light up on it, uh, regular mouse, computers down here. And I just went with this chair because I felt it really kind of fit the environment we're going for. And that's where we are. So I can't think of anything else I want to change. So let's just sell this house. Because um, I did decide that I'm not going to keep it. It's just too small and it doesn't quite hit what I'm looking for. So let's see what we can get for this. Oops. Do we get anything? No. Had to try. Um, so we're going to put it up on the auction. We bought the house for 122000 and renovation cost was just under 2000 We bought 23000 worth of furniture, but we sold 11000 worth of furniture. So that basically works out to 11000 13000 So about 137000 give or take, was put into this house. And we sold it for basically 182000 giving us a profit of just under 50000 now, I do want to negotiate this because I do want to get that 50000 So let's ask for 3000 more. Offer's too low. I can sell the house for 3186 more. This is acceptable. Boom. So we made our 50000 in profit. Very happy with that. Uh, accept the offer. Boom. Let's see some photos before and after. Huge difference in, in color anyways. Oh, I wish that would have been the other side. Wait, that glitched out the floor. That's a nice one. Oh, look from outside. I like that. I like that. All right, so uh, I guess next time we are going to have to find a bigger place for us. I was kind of thinking that was going to be a whole house with an upstairs. I wasn't thinking it was just going to be two rooms with it upstairs. <laughs> so that didn't exactly work out uh, the way I was hoping it would. But nonetheless, I really am happy with how that turned out. And uh, what's going on here? There we go. Just kind of bugged out for a second. Um, so go back here. So next time, um, something a little bit bigger. We could do Pink Kingdom, and obviously just not make it so pink. Uncle's Bunker? I don't really want a house with a bunker. That's just more money that I'm putting into it that I'm not going to see a return on. Uh, Man Cave. That'll probably be the one that we're going to go with. Um... Looks like it's got a garage. And living room, kitchen area. It's 1169 meters. Or well, the house has 172. So if we go back up to one of the smaller houses. This one has 80, so it is double, but it's just still not quite what I'm looking for. If anybody has any suggestions uh, for a next house we could buy, this one looks good. It's got two floors and a garage. I think this is probably going to be the house that we're going to go with, but... I'll leave it up there for now. If we get uh, some good feedback and someone has some other house that they want to try, then by all means, absolutely write it down in the comments.
that looks like it's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.